All right, Shock Wizard fans, it is a spine tingling tale of horror. School of Death. Let's watch. The scary school of death? <laughs> All right, our movie starts with a woman being uh, strapped into some gurney somewhere. And here comes a mad doctor. And I don't know what he did, but that shut her up. This is an orphanage of young ladies. There was just some sort of uh, guy outside outside playing music below them. And one of the girls, Sylvia, liked it. And this is Leonora. She's being punished for something. Isn't this a little excessive? She's incorrigible. And she does not submit to wishes. They apparently Isn't believe in right? corporal punishment here. There's another girl, Sylvia. I'm very grateful to you, Miss They found a home for her. May I please say goodbye to Leonor? The carriage is waiting for you. You have just enough time to pack your things. Whatever you say, Miss Wilkins. Back to the mad scientist. His name is Dr. Kruger, and this is Sylvia, the girl we just saw. She went to her new home, and she immediately got snatched and brought to Dr. Kruger, who was some sort of disfigured thing. He's performing some sort of lobotomies on these ladies, turning them into, like, mindless zombie-type things. Actually, what I think ultimately is they're being, like, given to, like, sex slaves or something. These pigs are people That's who deal in delicate. these women. They say you know a certain address that makes it possible to enter the portals of paradise itself. Do I explain myself well? Just as if you were an open book. Back at the orphanage, no. this one girl's gonna get stabbed. I'm not exactly sure why. Well, next thing, Leonora gets uh, adopted by somebody, but the, her carriage breaks on the way to where her new home. Do you know where I can find Blind Crow House? So when the driver went off to get help, she decides to get her help on her own. While she's wandering around, she finds her old friend Sylvia. Now remember, she's been lobotomized at this point. Sylvia! I'm Leonor! But you remember? You know me! I'm Leonor! Out of the way! Well, Leonor eventually gets to her new home. House. Quite an icy greeting. Apparently Sylvia has been reported dead at this point. The information that I have from the police is that the lady of the house had to take a trip at the time that she was buried. Just a little strange. Don't you think, Inspector? You are right, Collins. All night long trying to speak to you. What is it? What do you have to tell me? It's very serious. Leonora has seen Sylvia. And the police have got their noses in the whole business. We had to warn you about it. Well, they produce a buried coffin, and inside that coffin is Sylvia. Now Leonora's confused because she just saw her the night before. I have to see her. Later on, riding in a carriage, Leonora notices another carriage from the other way, and guess who's in there? Sylvia! 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 It was Sylvia, Doctor! They followed her, and it leads to her house. She's clearly alive. Don't be naive, Leonora. We won't tell him. I'm sure that if we advise the inspector, if and when he were to arrive at the house, he wouldn't find anyone. I'm afraid that underneath all this is something sinister. Then, what will we do? Well... I don't know what was going on with that coffin, but Sylvia's still alive, and the dude's playing music for her, and he rec she recognizes that song as the song the guy was playing outside the orphanage the one day, and now she's getting some What's wrong with you? some recognition that something's wrong. Maybe she's not as quite as lobotomized as we thought. Struggle ensues. 
And she kills the fat man. He said you must operate on the girl tonight. That's impossible. I need more time. Bob says we can't wait that long. You understand? We've got to get rid of her tonight. It's all very well. Okay, Sylvia that turns that. up back at that house. Still not quite right. What's she doing that night? Don't come close. She's like half lobotomized with some memories, I guess. I guess it happened off screen, but she killed her. Now our deformed Dr. Kruger is going to go chase her. And he gets her and chokes her to death. Dr. Kruger's chasing Leonor, who eventually finds a way out. But she finds no solace there either as she gets locked up in a room. So you must know this room is completely soundproof. Edward! Edward! We get some backstory then about Dr. Kruger. If it had to do with him alone, I wouldn't relate it at all. But there exists the curious circumstance that he escaped from prison in the company of one Bob Wilcox. Also an intelligent man who has been making his living in blackmail, in extortion, and in prostitution. And then Leonore gets injected. And as always, that shuts him up. Last, it's going to be such a nice funeral. Man is born of woman, hath but a short time. But is she really dead? Well, the plot kind of lost me a bit here, but there was some sort of a ruse to try to figure out or lure the bad guys in, and it worked. This is Dr. Brown. He gets beat up, placed in a coffin, and buried. That's not very nice. But before he suffocates, the authorities get there. Those are two bad guys, and one is going to eliminate the other. She's being murdered. Edward. Leonore's missing body? Guess she was injected to make herself seem dead, because she's not dead. Don't be afraid, I had to bring you here. It was the only place where I could revive you. When they called me to sign the death certificate, I realized that you weren't dead. You're met by this guy. Bob. I hope you realize that no one will leave here alive. Well, they get into a sword fight and notice the cut on Edward's face. That's right. He's wearing a mask. the end of Bob. Some cockamamie explanation from Kruger. Loved you. And not the young man of the mask I wore. And even with the mask. I guess Bob must have sliced him up before he killed Bob because Kruger then dies from his wounds. And our survivor Lenore wanders off and that's our movie. Alright, 
Let's talk about School of Death, a movie that I have on a pre-recorded VHS tape. It's not available on DVD, at least not a legitimate one. There's a couple of like DVDRs that are out there, including by Sinister Cinema, which I will leave a link down below if you're looking for it. You can get it on Amazon. I'm not sure how they are able to sell that, but they can, so there you go. I made this. I burned it myself from the VHS tape. That's what the box art looks like. That's what the back of the box looks like. So, anyway, the movie itself was a Spanish-made horror movie from 1975. Sandra Marazowski, something like that, is the name of the uh, actress who plays Leonore. Um, interesting side note, uh, two years after this was made, or three years or so, uh, she died uh, at, at age uh, 19, I think. Um, uh, they're not sure. I think it was ruled a suicide. She fell off a four-story four balcony or something like that. Some say she was pushed. Some say she fell accidentally. Some say there may have been an affair going on with some Spanish politician or something i don't know but anyway it was ruled a suicide so who knows so that's the end of poor sandra i guess um unfortunate but anyway she made this movie before she died a few years so anyway what we got here is an orphanage where there's a bunch of young ladies um they get taken away one by one to homes however these homes are more or less just places to stay briefly until they get kidnapped by a doctor uh dr kruger who injects them lobotomizes them and then turns them i guess into sex slaves they're supposed to be um, and then they get sold off to these rich fat guys um, to do whatever they're going to do with them. However, there is no nudity in this movie, no sex, nothing like that. But I think it is implied that that's exactly what these people are for. One of the girls, Sylvia, uh, comes to at some point, so she's not completely lobotomized, I guess. I don't know. And then she kills her benefactor, runs back to the house, and then she kills somebody else. And eventually Dr. Kruger kills her. Leonore, though, is our star. She ends up uh, being chased by Dr. Kruger at one point in his clutches. And then the film kind of lost me a bit. I, I, the last half hour, I wasn't sure exactly who was what. There was some sort of sinister guy named Bob, who also was the character George. He played two parts. So he was. They didn't know he was Bob, but he was the bad guy, Bob. And then this guy, Edward, who uh, Leonore liked, turned out to be Dr. Kruger in disguise. Dr. Kruger is... Uh, completely scarred, burned, and there was a backstory briefly about how that happened. He was some sort of scientist or something, and something went awry. Um, and he's wearing a mask that makes him look like, well, he is Edward, I guess. A good-looking guy, not the disfigured thing. And it turns out he was in love with Leonore or whatever, blah, blah, blah. There's a sword fight at the end of this movie uh, between Dr. Kruger, and, or as Edward, then Dr. Kruger, and this guy, Bob. They end up killing each other, basically. Leonore walks away, and, and that's it. So... Anyway, I've had this in my collection for a long, long time, probably 18 years or so. I believe I heard this from my shock lecture brother, Jeff. I can't, we're not quite sure if this was mine or his. Who knows? But it's mine now. Um, so, and I never watched it. It's in a clamshell box, but it sat there on my shelf for years. Now I finally got around to watching it. It was okay, uh, but nothing special. Like I said, it's a Spanish made, so it's dubbed. Um, like I said, no nudity at all. Um... You would have expected there to be some of this. It kind of reminded me of a movie called Blood Castle, which I saw years ago, which I also think was Spanish made, which had a horribly disfigured burnt guy too. Mad scientist type. I don't know. Just an odd film. There was a couple of creepy scenes though, like a guy being buried alive, and there are a couple of coffin scenes where they're look dead, but they're not really dead. I don't know. There's some mystery going on here, but this might require a second viewing just to completely grasp what's going on. But then again, I don't know if I'll ever watch it again because it was a little boring, maybe. Who, who knows? But whatever. That is School of Death. Curious if anybody else has seen it. Maybe it's streaming on YouTube. I don't know. But like I said, I'll leave a link to Amazon if you're looking to buy the DVD-R from Sinister Cinema. That, go ahead and do it. Give them some business. Check it out. Leave some comments. Tell me about it. School of Death. Watch it. Bye.